This is part two of my screen porch build. If you want to see part one, click on this link. Hello. As always, half the battle is bringing material in and getting it up the hill. But once that was done, we could start work on the next phase. We use two 2x10 full dimension pieces of our salvage lumber for a ridge beam. All of our roof rafters are also 2x10. We had to use a mix of new and old material, so we used a special paint treatment to uh, make the new look like the old. This little guy flew in through our garage door and up into my daughter's loft. I had to go up and rescue him. After a little drink, he seemed as good as new. I used 2x6s for the handrails, and we used 2x4s to build the framing for the screens. We decided to extend the interior oak floor out to the edge of the opening. This means that these few boards will be outside, but they'll be protected by the roof and hopefully no water damage. After a little bit of experimentation, we found a solution to make the new wood look like the old. We started with a semi-transparent gray stain, and after it was dried, we put another semi-transparent dark brown stain on top. And the end result, it looks pretty much like the old wood. My son caught me in this video standing on top of a ladder with no shoes. I don't recommend it. I wanted to keep the screen porch very open so that they'll be screened from top to bottom. But this bottom section below the handrail is going to have this wire mesh as well. It will serve as a protector to keep animals and small kids from falling out. First we stretch the screen across the opening and then staple it in place. Then battens go on to cover the staples and to add extra support to the screen. One lesson learned is buy more staples than you think you need. I like to fill in any little gaps that bugs can get in. I like to pre-drill these battens for two reasons. One, uh, it stops them from splitting when you put the screw in, and two, it acts as a holder, so that if you're working alone, you can hold the batten up and, and screw it in. Ah. Josh,
These are called fence nails and I thought they'd be a nice solution to hold the wire mesh in. We decided just to paint the plywood with an outdoor floor paint. I built some stairs down to the rock, which is interesting because the rock is extremely uneven, but... Here we are in our first dinner in the screen porch, after getting all the tools out. And uh, there's still work to be done, there's no roof yet, it's just a tarp, and we've got some other details to finish, which I will show you guys in episode 3. Thanks for watching, and please rate, comment, and subscribe.